Tonight, there is newly released video showing how a man died while in MTS custody. The agency has admitted they were wrong and are now trying to make amends with that man's family. Thank you for joining us for the nightly check in. I'm Catherine Garcia. So his name was Angel Hernandez and we covered his death extensively when it happened back in October 2019. MTS reached a settlement with his family the same day new body camera video was released. Before you show the video here, a warning that the images are difficult to watch. A video on the day of the incident shows the 24 year old man wandering between MTS tracks near Little Italy. An officer tries to detain Hernandez and find out why he's on the tracks. Hernandez hands over his ID, admits to using marijuana, but at times is incoherent. Once a second officer approaches, Hernandez starts to run. They handcuff him and he starts talking to someone other than the officers, referencing his grandfather's voice. The two officers struggled with him and put him on the ground, rolling him onto his stomach. A wider view shows both officers using their knees and body weight to hold the handcuffed man down. One officer is on Hernandez's neck. The two officers continue to hold him down until a third officer asks if he has a pulse. Angel, you still alive, dude? Angel. Angel. Hey. Yes, I got his ID right here. Wait, is he, is he a pulse? I don't know. How was he acting? Was he really sweaty? No, roll him over. No, he wasn't really sweaty. Angel. The actions of the officers involved was wrong. To the Hernandez family, Angel's life was precious, and he should not have died. And on behalf of MTS, I want to apologize for what happened. The agency says since the incident, they've increased training and emergency response and de-escalation. In terms of the settlement, MTS will pay $5.5 million to Angel Hernandez's family because of what happened. Now to our coronavirus coverage, uh, things are getting better in San Diego. Businesses are opening up and case numbers are down. But vaccine experts say it's important for people to realize variants are not something to take a lightly, especially for those who have not yet received a vaccine. County health leaders say over the last several months, there have been 530 total cases of the UK variant, 35 total cases of the California one, and the Brazil variant just recently broke out. Kaiser's vaccine expert, Dr. William Singh, says the problem with variants is they're more infectious than the original, and that's bad news if you don't have your shot yet. So it, it fits into the environment better, so it's more likely to transmit. And the doctor also points out that even those who are vaccinated are not fully protected. Vaccinated people can still be affected by variants and experience what's called an outbreak case that they'll still be uh, somewhat protected, though. In contrast, the unvaccinated folks won't have any sort of shielding. We have an update on one of the very first COVID-19 patients we spoke with more than a year ago. Drew Andrews was hit by the pandemic on multiple fronts. He's a local bartender, musician, and now COVID-19 survivor. He was infected last March before doctors really knew much about treatment or the virus's spread. All the while, he was left without a job until just very recently. Drew returned back to work at Whistle Stop Bar in South Park, thanks to the county moving into the orange tier. During his time away from work, he enrolled in a COVID-19 immunity study to find out how long he and other survivors are naturally protected from the virus. I was able to even even up to a year, um, it was been, you know, the immunity was strong and solid. And I think that's a big thing. It shows that there's, uh, that's a, important component towards herd immunity. I mean, so is also the vaccination effort. Andrew says he was still advised to get the COVID-19 vaccine. You are now able to buy at home COVID-19 tests from some of your local pharmacies. CVS Health announced today that it would offer three over-the-counter tests at its drugstores as well as online. These three separate tests are made by Loom, Abbott, and LabCorp, which is a home collection kit. Walmart and Walgreens have also announced that they'll sell the tests from Abbott, which delivers results in about 15 minutes. History was made today as a first of its kind robotic helicopter launched over Mars. These images show the four pound chopper known as Ingenuity lifting off the red planet and hovering over the surface for a memorable 40 seconds. Scientists at NASA cheered, they applauded, while NASA called it a Wright Brothers moment. I was uh, receiving a lot of messages from around the world. Like, 
The local company is also making history with this flight after the launch was delayed a couple times because of some technical problems. Robotics chief developer Dev Singh and the rest of the team at Qualcomm finally got the news they'd been waiting for. The codes developed by Qualcomm used to help operate Ingenuity had worked. Ingenuity is the first aircraft in history to make a powered controlled flight on another planet. It was awesome, of course, and to see Qualcomm participate in that was, you know, made me feel very proud. It's indeed a very, very proud moment for humanity, for science, uh, for space exploration. And this is only the beginning. Ingenuity could take flight again as early as Thursday. Before we sign off, here's a quick look at your temperatures. Stagmar has an extended forecast on the weather section on the main menu of our Roku and Apple TV app. That's going to do it for our nightly check-in. Have a good night.